For thousands of Gibraltarians and their families, as well as the thousands of tourists swarming Main Street, there was a carnival atmosphere in town. The cafes and bars were packed solid, and there was plenty of local and international talent entertaining the crowds at casements. But for a few hundred people at John McIntosh Square, this was something a bit more. It was a celebration of the achievements of the trade union movement over the centuries and an assertion of worker rights. As he turned up to support the union's rally at the piazza, the chief minister was met with jeers from a group of retired employees of Jib Telecom and Aquajib who said they were worse off after privatization. They say they're angry that government has still not delivered its promise to redress the balance. In his address, United National Officer Stuart Davies said union solidarity had marked the beginning of the end for a two-tier workforce in Gibraltar. And the unions were demanding progress, not promises from the government. Well, the key issue for us is our ongoing campaign in respect of insecure work um, and challenging the proliferation of those insecure working arrangements across Gibraltar. We've made a decent start to that campaign. We have a long way to go. Um, and as our members keep saying, you know, they want progress, not promises. And we will deliver the progress to them on that campaign with their support. In his swan song as United Regional Officer, Victor Oshello said he would step down from his post but would always be a part of the union. I need to be near the, the union, that's my life. Uh, I will never abandon it. I will, I will retire, but I will not abandon The GGCA's Wendy Cumming said the three evils her union would be tackling are privatization, non-consultation, and the unfair distribution of wealth. And I think that's something that's come across very, very strongly uh, today has been the message of unity and solidarity um, amongst unions and the, the idea that uh, cooperation only makes us stronger. And NASUWT President Victor Gonzalez said the imminent walkout by his members was about more than just a pay claim. It was a protest against arrogance and disrespect shown to them by the government. Uh, I think that May Day has been politicised for too long. I think there has been, not intervention, but influences mm -hmm. from politicians, uh, and uh, I think that has been the problem. At Casement Square, Fabian Picardo's cameo appearance was a short one, limiting himself only to wish everyone a happy Workers' Day and introducing the main act, Rosala. Happy Workers' Day! It should always be a holiday! But earlier in the day, in an interview with GBC, Mr. Picardo said the GSLP Liberals would continue to support May Day as a workers' celebration. Well, it's very important for me that, that Workers' Day is celebrated on the 1st of May. It's one of the cardinal articles of faith of socialism that we commemorate those who've sacrificed in order for us to have the, the rights and terms and conditions that we enjoy in work today. The basics, not the enhancements we might wish, etc., but just the basics that we sometimes take for granted. More coverage of the May Day rallies and celebrations with extended interviews will feature on tonight's Viewpoint.